everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm continuing to interview some more ERC roleplay or ERC content creators, and today I have OMB with me. Um, so, hope you guys do enjoy, and I'll kind of put put the interview up and let the music play out, and you guys can listen on to the interview. Hello, Mr. OMB. How is your day going? Pretty well, thanks. How's yours? Pretty well. Um, I had a pretty good day, too. So I guess we'll get going right into the questions here. Um, first question I have for you is what inspired you to start making ERLC content on YouTube? So it was primarily a mix of watching other YouTubers in early 2020 and discovering ERLC shortly before that. And yeah, I, I wanted to share my experiences. I started off with Bloxburg, but quickly changed over as I saw ERLC I'm not sure if it had more of a future for me, but uh, yeah, I just thought it would be the, the game I'd enjoy playing more, and um, I'm glad I chose that change. Yeah, I discovered ERC a couple years ago, um, actually from your channel, and both of Locus, because um, I think Locus was one of the very first ERC content creators. Um, yeah, yeah, same. Next question I have here is... How do you make a typical ERLC video such as one of your roleplays that you make? It's quite simple now. Uh, we have, you know, we'll, we'll announce it to our recording team um, a few hours or maybe a day in advance, depending on how big the shoot is. Get people into the server. Um, they, already, they already know the plans and the roles required for it. And it's quite simple. With roleplays, it's quite simple. We jump into, into a roleplay. Sometimes it goes to plan, sometimes not so much, but um, that's that's kind of the fun with it. Um, yeah, it's quite simple, really. Yeah. Um, one of the biggest issues I find when trying to film roleplay videos is trying to find people for the videos. So when you were a little bit small of a creator, how did you get people together to make roleplay videos on America's Defense of Virginia County? I primarily just played in... Um, like public roleplay servers so i just find any that are up and yeah we we go in and roleplay in there whether that was me or whether one or two friends um so yeah for months i didn't have anyone uh, with i didn't have a recording team basically for months and uh, yeah i just used roleplay servers so it shows that anyone can do uh, roleplay videos um with or without um, a massive group of people to help them. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, next question I have for you here is, how do you keep up, how do you keep making different videos, keep like fresh ideas and not keep making the same video over and over again? So, inspired by what's going on in real life, uh, TV shows, movies, games, um, and then I'm not the only one suggesting ideas um, everyone in my recording team will suggest ideas to me and I just write them down I've got a big board of all the ideas and I probably got a hundred maybe even 200 on there that I'd like to film one day but it's just finding the time for it that's probably the hardest part at the moment um, this might go along with the next question because you said Finding time is probably the hardest part, but what is the biggest challenge you've faced as being one of the biggest ERLC YouTubers? Yeah, as you said, time, probably. Like, um, it's not as much of an issue now, but um, time definitely is probably my biggest concern. That or editing. Editing does take a lot of time, but then again, I suppose that does factor into the, the issue of, you know, just things taking so much time can't really afford to to do massive videos every single day yes um how do you stay connected with your fans in the ERLC community with not being able to have as much time and like balancing out with trying to create videos every day as you do i mean i've been part of the community for years now so i think i find it quite easy just to drop into chats chat with people even join servers and um, just play ERC with others. So I, I kind of factor them into my day. Um, I'm regularly chatting in the PRC Discord, my Discord servers, my roleplay servers. So 
uh, yeah, it's it's something I enjoy doing, and that is kind of one of the the core elements, I suppose, of my my community. So, with you growing so much and having plenty of interactions with fans and with other Roblox players, do you have a specific interaction that like kind of sticks out um, that was different from all the other ones? Um. I mean, like, it could have been the first time I had the PLC developers on my stream. That was, I think it was Sean back with the helicopter update in 2021. That was a really fun stream where we had him on and we, we were chatting about the update just before it released. Um, but I've had so many great moments that it would be hard to recall them all. So, yeah, you know, it could be everything from hitting milestones in game with hundreds of people um, when we hit like 100k or playing updates because I've had updates where I'm not live streaming and I'm just playing playing those in public servers and it is a lot of fun exploring the new features with everyone. Um, when you were a small YouTuber, um, time, as you said, was difficult to find. Um, I can kind of, I can definitely agree with that. Um, but when you began to start growing, um, at speeds you do now and faster and as you keep growing bigger and bigger, what do you think the key to all that success was? Um, I think you need to stay in touch with your fans, with the audience. It's important that you don't forget where you started and where you came from. Um, but I, I think, yeah. I think connecting to that point, you want to create content that you would enjoy watching. And I think back to when I first started YouTube and, you know, I, I was, or, yeah, first started playing URC, first started YouTube, and I'd be watching uh, a bunch of other URC YouTubers. And I kind of think back to that and, um, yeah, kind of remind myself that that is the sort of content I want to be creating. And that's the sort of content that I would be watching if um, if I wasn't doing YouTube. Did you ever expect that your channel will become this big and you would become one of the biggest URLC content creators there is? To be fair, no. I, I'm i not sure what I thought um, starting off. Uh, I, you know, I hoped I could get up to a thousand subscribers. I think that was a big first milestone for me. And then after that, it was kind of, you know, pushing to 10,000, 25,000, 50,000. But I don't think in 2020, I don't think I, I would have ever thought I'd be at over 300,000 subscribers. With EROC updating um, frequently when they did a couple years ago, and now it's a little less frequent, but they still do update pretty frequently. How do you stay on top of EROC updates and like how do they affect the content you create um, the week after the update? So it's just a lot about planning and um, yeah, basically... I look at the main features. I know other URC YouTubers are going to be going straight for the new features. And so I try and get those videos out early. If it's a DOT update, add a new tow truck, maybe try and get a video, including that feature out as, uh, as quickly as possible. And then after that, it's just exploring maybe smaller things they added. Maybe they added some Easter eggs. Um, so it's just basically trying to use as much of the update content as possible in role plays, challenges, tutorials even. Um, do you have any future features or updates that you really want your OC to add or that you are excited that they might be adding? For sure. I the, There are thousands, thousands upon thousands of things I'd love to see come to the game, whether that's um, more customization for private servers, like being attached to your own departments or um, more admin commands that would be accessible all the things that would just make both recording videos and playing the game especially in roleplay servers since that's kind of how i spend a bit of my time uh, just the more enjoyable so yeah whether that's uh, more customization for private servers uh, or just more features uh, like more locations on the map more buildings with interiors that we can explore and um yeah do roleplays with kind of talking keeping on the eros the update um, topic. Do you think EROC will ever expand the map again? I think so, yes. Um, and I hope so. But I do think it will be a while. They usually wait a year or two between 
uh, relatively large map updates, which I think is pretty fair. If the map's constantly updating, then players are going to have no idea where to go. And we kind of grow to love the map and then we outgrow the map after a year or two. And it's nice to progress on from that. But I do think so. Uh, but it will be at least another year. Um, Taking some advice from what you said, is there any more advice that you would give to a smaller content creator trying to make themselves bigger in the community? Yeah, I, I think you need to look at, first of all, look at what all the other YouTubers in similar genres are doing. Um, like, especially for if you're doing ERC content, for example, look at what other YouTubers are doing in other roleplay games similar. And you can, uh, because there's only so many YouTubers doing videos on the same game. So um, look outside the box a bit, take inspiration from others. Of course, copying is not going to get you too far in the long term, but yeah, take inspiration from others and you almost want to aim for the content that is missing. So there's always going to be um, videos that people want but aren't there, um, whether that's maybe a roleplay with a specific vehicle or location or maybe a tutorial. So that's the kind of content you want to start off with. But I always say make the content that you'd watch because it just feels so much more authentic. Um, obviously, you mainly upload every day or you try to upload every day. How important do you think staying consistent and engaging with your community is to build a successful channel? I think it's pretty important. And whether that's daily uh, or weekly uploads, set yourself a, a schedule almost and stick to that as much as possible because people will come back if you're at least relatively frequent or consistent. Speaking of videos on the channel, do you have anything, any big projects you're looking forward to or any big plans for the channel in the future? Oh, yeah, for sure. We've got three or four large role plays or kind of cinematic mini movies planned for the winter um, and going into early 2025. Uh, yeah, we've got so many plans. Uh, some videos that have been filmed and are waiting to be uploaded. Some that are just in the planning phase at the moment. But yeah, we've got a lot of plans going forwards. Um, as I said before, it's just about finding the time to, to do each of them. Um, besides ERLC, um, or besides even Roblox, are there any other games that you would like reach out to try to play? Possibly. Um, I'd stick to the similar types of games, like Beam and G Drive. I've done a few videos on that in the past, which is simulate, sure, yeah, driving simulator. Uh, Flashing Lights, I've done some videos on that before, but maybe even GTA games in the future um but yeah as i said sticking to similar types of games um how has youtube and gaming influenced your life outside of content creation um quite literally changed the course of my life i mean yeah even a month or two before i started my channel i didn't think i'd be doing this and youtube has opened up so many different um opportunities for me so yeah it's been it's been a great journey and i'm very grateful for it but i did not at all expect to be here um doing this in 2024 going back to the topic of erlc updates what was your favorite erlc update that they have posted or that they have had throughout your time content creating probably summer of 2022 or the helicopter update I think the helicopter update was kind of underwhelming for others because it's not a feature we use that often now, but it was one of my biggest streams to date. And as I said before, we had some of the developers on the stream. We were chatting with Sean before the update. Yeah, it was just so much fun and uh, pretty similar um, with the summer update of 2022. I, I do remember watching your streams and taking inspiration from you for multiple of my videos or some of my videos um thank you for coming on today um i do really appreciate it i know some youtubers that are that big wouldn't even take a chance at doing this kind of stuff with smaller youtubers but just want to thank you for this opportunity 
Yeah, no worries. And thank you for uh, thank you for having me. Good luck with uh, this video. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. Uh, if you do enjoy them, go and like, subscribe. Uh, check out Officer John's video in the link description below. And um, let me know who you guys want me to interview next. Um, go ahead and comment down below who you want me to interview next. And I'll see if I can get in contact with them to interview them. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.